Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to use charts or graphs with your C++ Windows form application. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to my toolbox and I will go to data section and I will pick up a chart from there, this one and I will drag and drop into my form so this looks like this and I will reshape it according to my requirement and the second thing I will do is I will take a button to load a chart okay and I will name this, this button as load chart okay and my chart name is this chart one and suppose I want to show some bar chart on my this chart panel how can I do it so for example I want to show a name versus age bar chart so I will just click this load chart button double click this and I will go to the event of this uh, button to load the chart and in here I will write the line this this arrow pointer this line this arrow pointer chart 1 which is the name of my chart arrow pointer series and this is the name of the series in my case this is age so I will change it here age and I will just copy this age from here and I will go up where my chart declarations are there and you see the series name is series 1 by default and I will replace it by age so here you want to replace you have to replace uh, your name of the series and at the bottom where you are writing your code here and in this bracket you need to pass to my parameter for x and y axis so for example I will pass a name and the age of some person so for example max and his age is 25 I will copy this line once again and paste it down and I will change the name Carl his age is 35 and one more time I will copy and paste his name is Mark and his age is 40 for example okay so now I want to show the age versus name graph of this person so this is the x-axis of your graph and this is the y-axis and so when you press the button it will load this data into your chart and show the chart according to this data so let's see if it if this works or not I will run the program Here I will 
give my username and password and if I press this load button my data should appear here so let's try it yes my data is appeared here so this shows the bar chart of name versus age and you see here age now if you want to show line chart instead of this bar chart then what you need to do there are some settings in the properties you, you can do so go to the series here this one in the property and click this button and it will open the series collect collection editor I only have one series called age and for that series I can change the chart type from here okay so I'm changing the chart type instead of columns I want line chart so like this I will just change it and press OK and you see its bars are converted to line chart and now when you run your program and once again go to that form and when you load your program instead of bars you can see the line chart of your data so in the same way you can choose the type from here and just display into your chart so it depends upon you it has some other settings like name of your series and some other settings by which you can make your chart really good so it has what style do you need for your chart I will change these styles and I will see how it looks so if I want to add some image also I can select but I don't have any image right now but you can select and it will be shown into the background of your chart so this is also a very good feature which you can use border color you can choose whatever color you want for your border and the color of your series also you can choose for example I want to show green color and I press OK ok and once again I want to choose column instead of this line chart and press OK so you see your chart properties are changed and you can play with the properties and see what properties you want with your chart ok and one more thing if you want to show one other data so you want to show name versus age and name versus some score data you can also do show two bars parallel to each other showing two datas for the same person so how can we do that we will see also here so once again go at the top no actually you don't need to go and top just go to your 
form and select your chart and go to the properties and once again we will go to the series collection here okay and I will press it and if I want to show two series age and score for example so I will click this add button and I can change the name of this series from here so from here I will change the name of the series as score okay so the name is changed and what else I need to change is the color which I want to use for the age no for the score I will use uh, some other color for example this cyan color and for the age I will use this lime color okay so I have two data one age and one score versus name so you see you can see already this shows two bars and in the code how can you represent this data just click your load chart button double click and do go to the code these three lines we have added earlier just give the space between them and just copy this line once again and paste it here and instead of age series we need now need to show the score so I will write the name of the score series which is score and this is the name versus the score so for example I want to give him give the score 500 once again copy and paste for Carl I want to give the score 450 and for marks mark I want to give the score what 550 for example and I will change the name of the series this one is the series data and this one is the series data okay so, and I will separate the code to better understand it so it will load the age data and it will load the score data in the same chart chart one so if you want to copy that code just pause the video and copy the code and now we will try to run the program and you can see agent score 2 series are there and when I press load chart it will show my score and the age of the particular name so in this way you can play with your chart and show what data you want to show I think you have enjoyed this video and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now